Help me understand. Help me understand exactly what it is you're trying to explain to me. The doctor prescribed you with these pills for your depression. You need to go straight to sleep once you take them. He said they could have some side effects. What kind of side effects? I'm not going to tell you. Just... Just take the pills so you don't worry about it and so you can sleep easier. You need the rest. Are you sure this is my correct prescription? Yes, I'm positive. I checked the bottle before I left. Check for yourself if you want. Natalie? Yeah? Thank you for picking it up for me. I really appreciate it. No problem. Call me if you need anything. Do you think I should have stayed the night at his house with him on those pills? I'm kind of worried. Wouldn't you be? He'll be fine. You only live a few blocks away. And he's taken his medication before, so it's not like the dosage is any different. I know, but still. Maybe I should go over there. It's fine. If he needs anything, he'll call you. Until then, you have nothing to worry about. But the pharmacist said they have side effects. Don't worry about the side effects. He's gonna sleep just fine. And the more you worry, the more things seem worse. Now, I need you to come over here right now. There's somebody, there's somebody on the roof. I saw him. I saw him. You was fine. Hang on. Are you sure you gave him the correct pills and not just yours? Did you even check? He was prescribed the depression ones. And what do you take? So you did switch them. Just how do you manage that, Natalie? I had his pill bottle and mine right next to each other on the counter, and I must have grabbed the wrong one. It was a mistake. Well, obviously, because look what happened. And this isn't one of your little mistakes. This is prescription. Do you know how important these things are? I'm sorry. I told you. 
you they have side effects? It wasn't my job in the first place. He asked you to get them for him. What are the side effects? Exactly what he called me saying. Which was what? Someone on the roof. One of the side effects of the pills is possibly hearing or seeing things. And another side effect is fainting, which is clear to me now why he was out cold when I got there. How can you be so calm right now? The front window's open. What if it wasn't the medicine? What if someone was actually on the roof? Are you coming or not? I don't know. Gavin, what if someone's in his house? It's, it's the medicine, I told you. You said there'd be side effects, didn't you? Well, what if he's one of those people whose body gets affected by that sort of thing? Someone's in there. Why else would the window be open? I don't know. Maybe the house got hot and he decided to open the window. Don't overthink things. <laughs> Natalie, let's go. Now. No. I don't feel comfortable going. Fine. I'm going then. Staying in here is any safer. What are you doing here, Gavin? Is everything all right? If I said no, would that bother you? What do you mean by that? Do you know something, Gavin? I never took the pills to begin with. You didn't? They weren't my pills. I put them in my hand and they weren't my pills. So I didn't take them. I didn't tell Natalie because I wanted her to notice her mistake. Then what was the thing about the roof? I trusted her with my well-being. What? Then what was the thing about the roof? I don't know what you're talking about. You called Natalie and told her that there was someone on your roof that you saw it. I assumed it was from your pills, but I guess not. That never happened. No. No, Victor. That was earlier tonight that that happened. I was with Natalie when you both were on the phone. Gavin, that never happened. Victor, I saw it. The thing on the roof, I, I saw it. I came here in the hopes of clearing this up, but that proved me wrong when I saw something staring at us in the window behind you. Come here. Do yourself a favor, Gavin. Learn to accept what you don't want to.